Hello and welcome to Auto Shenanigans. My name is John and you're watching Britain's Abandoned Roads. Today I'm in Northampton. Well, actually, just to the east, between Upton and Kislingbury. In 2008, the nearby Swan Valley Industrial Estate was near completion, and with that came the Upton Valley Way, a new road that was designed to take traffic into the estate without the need to go into Northampton itself. With future housing development plans, it was seen as a vital link road due to the expected increase in traffic numbers. By 2009, the main road had been completed and developers began extending the road just north of the A4500, where there were plans to build a further 800 houses. It seemed shortly after the developers had other ideas and pulled out, having built just a short section of road and an intersection. And since then, the road has sat completely abandoned with no clear use. Poking out awkwardly from the A4500 is the section in question for today. Here it is on satellite images. It's known as the Sandy Lane Relief Road. Unlike some of the other roads that we've looked at in the series, this has been built to modern standards, so features all of the street furniture, signage, street lighting, etc. that you would expect. However, it's never seen any traffic and has been closed since its completion in 2009. So for well over 10 years, it sat here and become a bit of a topic of debate between local residents. They see it perhaps as a bit of an eyesore and would love for the situation to be rectified. Well, there's good news, Karen. After all these years, we might finally see the Sandy Lane Relief Road open for business. In 2016, plans were submitted to build 1,900 houses on this site, and this would also include schools, local amenities, parks and green spaces. As part of this planning application, the road would be completed and would then link the A4500 with New Sandy Lane. However, these plans were approved in 2019, and at the time of visiting, I see absolutely no work going on whatsoever. It's just the open fields and abandoned roads that we had before. Are we destined to see a repeat of the past where the developers pull out of the deal for no reason? Well, I'm not so sure, but one thing is for sure that after 14 years, this road is very much still abandoned. As always, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. My name is John. You've been watching Auto Shenanigans and Britain's Abandoned Roads. I shall see you guys next time for another exciting episode. Mm -hmm.